Mamo. Hey, Vic. What's uh, going on? It's really cool. I just got back. Um, I met Baby Apollo for the first time. Oh, we were able, we so were able to, you know, break quarantine, and we you know, we bubbled up together. Everyone, you know, got my test, got everything, so I can go over there. And the sweetest, I mean, honestly, the sweetest little child you ever seen. Well, I've seen him on Facebook, and he's precious and yeah. perfect, and what a great family. Yep, what I'm excited a great, for we them. Are family, family. Excited for them. <laughs> so, I want to be excited for you oh, when I figure out. Where you see yourself yeah. 20 years from now, 30 years from now, where, where, what's your, what do you think your end game wants to be? My end game? Meaning, well, you know. In the, yeah. in the end, you know, in, in, in a way, starting something, you know, so in a broad sense, right? Yeah. Something where I could make my own luck, do everything, and, you know, start in the film studio. Think about something like that, where then all of a sudden I can then take control because the quarantine in a lot of ways has made it made people understand mm, not much of this is actually in your control. Not much of this is actually in your hands. So try to put as much as possible in your hands because otherwise you're just an employee. You're just waiting for the thing to happen to you, happen for you, happen all those things. And all of a sudden nothing happens. Right. And then so that's why the writing thing happened for me and, you know, going to Hollywood, trying to you know, write, produce. And then the next level of the journey, create a physical space, a film studio, an academy, a stuff like that. Run a TV studio, run those things, like be in a position where I'm never again at the mercy of anything. And at 20, 30 years like, you know, could take care of everyone around me, make sure everyone's, you know, and, and, and provide a life and do that stuff. I mean, I, you know, given the example of you and dad, you know, be a, be the ultimate provider that, and, and the business side and on the flip side, you know, the passion side, the, you know, the, the open side, the love side, just like share that, find people to share that with. Right. I mean, I've been really good at the business push. Business push. I have a plan for it. I, I understand enough to know about the world that well, sooner or later, if you keep pushing, keep pushing, and keep pushing, and you have the one quality, which is, you know, to persevere, to push forward. You know, because of military academy, because of you all, I have that. But then, to find a unit of people, I want to share that with, and like, and understand, like, this is a sharing moment now. I want to share this. And I want to give this and I want to provide this, you know, so one side of it, I'm getting handled pretty well. The other side of it, mm, not going that well, but, <laughs> but <laughs> not going terribly well, but you know, shit, <laughs> life happens as it happens and uh, we go as we go. But so 20, 30 years, I have the people I'm sharing it with and I'm, you know, I'm making sure that, and I, I have a life full of home or full of love. I mean, you know, even like being around baby Apollo day, like how much their house is opened up and livened up and brightened up because there's a new level of love to give, to share, to experience, to have. And then attaching that to my life now, you know? So in 20, 30 years, I want the full expression of all of that to a degree and uh, have your 100-year-old ass and dad's 110-year-old ass there to see it all. So if, <laughs> if, I, if, if, I, if, I, if I have the uh, perfect expression of what it looks like, then I guess that would be it. Well, I want to be part of it, so... Well, you're always a part uh, of it. Keep that door open. The door is always open. And the, uh, you know, I'm, 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 you're... you're, you're uh, of course, you're always a part of it, you know? And this is, you know, this is why, you know, when we talked about this expression of you know, this thing you know like you know early on when we you know as was during quarantine and you know make sure i answered all your calls make sure we talk all the time make sure these things it, it just really made me understand how much that i want you guys to be a part of all this stuff that i have coming and going so hope you always understand that and it's never lost because sometimes i haven't been the greatest of expressing it all the time but you know we, it's in there no we we do understand that you're so kind i mean 
you have not missed one Sunday phone call mm. since you've been in college. Not one, Vic. Yeah. And that's a that's a pretty good track record. And yeah, sure. it's something we look forward to. And uh, you're just a good guy. Thanks. Oh, fuck. You know, I, I got taught by the best. <laughs> Thanks. I got taught by the best. And, uh, but no, so 20, 30 years. So, hey, hey I'll, I'll talk to you every Sunday for the next 20, 30 years, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> phone's, <laughs> phone's always open. As it is. All right, I'm going to go shower. I got a, I got Paolo spit up in my sleeve and I got on my neck or something. <laughs> All right, buddy. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Love you. Bye. Bye.